What is going on everyone? Hitting you straight up with a voiceover and commentary and workout footage. Just so you guys know, this is going to be mostly workout footage, not much else happened in this video. Some of you guys might prefer that and some of you might not prefer that, but anyway, that's what this video is going to be. I'm going to take you through my deadlift workout or most of it. And then I am also going to take you through my overhead presses that I did later in the week. Not the whole overhead press workout with the accessories, but just the overhead presses because I haven't filmed those in quite some time. Uh, this is the fives week on 531, meaning that on the deadlifts and the overhead press, I have to work up to an AMRAP set of five plus. Uh, this was actually supposed to be my deload week. However, we are going away next week and it didn't make sense to deload the week before I go away and then go away and not be able to really work out and basically have two weeks in a row. So what I decided to do was I'm skipping the deload this week, doing the fives week, and then I'm probably going to repeat the exact week when I get back from vacation and basically pick up with 531 there. While I'm on vacation, I don't really plan to lift. There's going to be like a one of those crappy hotel gyms. I'll probably do some cardio and some light lifting, um, but definitely not what I would typically do for my deload if I was at home. And that's okay. I typically always try to plan my workouts around when I go on vacation so that when I'm actually away, I don't need to um, stick to my actual routine. I could just do some light deloads because you need to deload anyway. You need to take time off anyway. Makes sense to put those times to have them align when you're away rather than be off when there's nothing else going on. So that's what I am doing. Here is the AMRAP set on my deadlift. This is 460 pounds. Uh, if you factor in the heavy weights at my gym, it's closer to like 475, 480. And I get a few comments on some deadlift videos that it looks like my lower back is rounded. And I agree, it looks like my lower back is a little bit rounded. But if you notice, it only looks like that when I wear the belt. And when I do not wear the belt, it does not look like that. So I think it has to do with the way the belt is positioned. It kind of forces me to... I don't know, I guess maybe I'm ranting my back a little bit, but I've been doing it for a while and my back actually feels completely fine. I've never felt any issues with it this way, so I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing, and if I get hurt, then I guess you guys are right. Um, now, that leads me into something that I wanted to discuss, which is kind of a question that I get a lot, and it's people asking me, do I need to deadlift? And the simple answer if you need to deadlift is no. Um, but obviously, just like a lot of things, it's a little bit more complicated than that. So if you're a power lifter, yeah, you need to deadlift because it's one of the main exercises that you guys do. But let's assume you're not a power lifter. Let's just assume you're someone trying to get stronger and trying to build muscle. Do you need to deadlift? Again, the simple answer is no. However, deadlifts are a very effective exercise. I've gone periods of my time where I've done deadlifts consistently, and I've gone periods of time where I have not done deadlifts consistently, and I do have to say I've been doing deadlifts now consistently for about two and a half, three years, and this is the most time in a row I've ever done deadlifts. I've typically done it like six months to a year, taking time off, but this is the first time that I've actually done them consistently for a long time, and my back is definitely the best it's ever been. It's definitely the thickest it's ever been. And I have to attribute that to deadlifts, at least a lot of it to deadlifts. So could I build a back without deadlifts? Of course you can. You could do rows, you could do pull-ups, um, you could do rack pulls. You could do a lot of things. You do not need to deadlift. However, whatever the reason it is for you're not deadlifting, deadlifts are an effective exercise. They are probably the best exercise you could do for lower back thickness, even middle back thickness hamstrings and overall strength so if you have a legitimate reason not to deadlift maybe you have an injury that i would consider that a legitimate reason you do not need to deadlift and obviously if you're injured you should not deadlift but i would actually take a closer look and ask yourself why you're not deadlifting and if the reason is just you don't want to because you're just lazy well i would deadlift if i were you then because like i said they are effective they are good for overall strength in my opinion they're the best exercise you could do for hamstrings and back thickness and just overall strength in general. If you're injured, if you're scared, or maybe you just don't have that much time, deadlifts, they do take a lot of time to warm up properly. So if you don't have the time, then I guess that would be another legitimate reason. But otherwise, even though you don't have to deadlift, I would recommend deadlifting unless you have a really a really good reason not to do it. And let's not, let's not kid ourselves. Deadlifts are hard. Um, they're one of the more difficult exercises that you could do. So, I mean, a lot of people don't want to do them just because they're hard. So be honest with yourself. If there's no real reason not to do them, 
I would do them. Uh, so here we are moving on to overhead presses, and if you guys have been following me for some time, you know, this is probably the exercise I struggle with the most in terms of gaining strength. When I first started doing 5 through one it went up very nicely, but I pretty much um, stalled where I am for a long time now. Um, you're going to see the AMRAP set in just a second where I have to go up to 170 pounds. And I've basically been around 170 pounds as my max for, not my max, I've been able to do 170 pounds for about three reps. That's been basically the max. I think the most I've ever even done. I don't think I hit 200 pounds. I think the most I've done was 190 or 195. And if I had to guess, I'd probably still be around the 190, 195 mark. My one rep max definitely has not really improved much on these. But it's funny because even though my one rep max, my strength on these hasn't really increased, my shoulders continue to get more developed and look better and better. So it's kind of one of those things where I would like to be getting strong on it, but at the same time, I have no plans of competing in any kind of overhead press competition. My shoulders are looking fine. They're looking good. So that's really the only reason I do overhead press. So yes, I would like to get stronger, but at the same time, I'm getting the results uh, physically that I'm hoping for. So can't really complain there and I enjoy doing them so I'll keep doing them and like I said about a minute ago 170 for three has really been the most I've been able to do and here I was able to get 170 for a very difficult fourth rep I did get it I was shaking afterwards it was a real grinder but I was able to get it typically I like to stop a rep or too short of failure but I felt like I could do it so I went for it and then I just did some back down sets of 150 pounds no 155 pounds where I matched the reps that I got on the AMRAP set. So that was the overhead press workout. I did do a full upper body workout afterwards where I hit some chest, uh, some more back. Oh, it was basically my whole upper body, but I did this workout before work and I was kind of crunched for time and I didn't really have time to set up the camera. So I only filmed this and that's basically the workout footage. So the rest of the video will be me talking a little bit about some enlightened ice, uh, not, uh, Halo Top ice cream. Hit the thumbs up and enjoy the rest of the video. All right guys, so hope you enjoyed the workout footage. We just went out for dinner to a Mediterranean place, but I completely forgot to take the camera, so hopefully you follow me on Snapchat and saw it in my story. Uh, right now we are finishing up the night. This is some cookies and cream halo top. If you saw the last few videos I was eating in Lightened. So just a disclaimer, halo top gave this to me for free also, so it's not like I paid for either of them. And if you saw the last couple videos, I think in Lightened is a little bit better, but on top, we went to 16 handles and these are cheesecake bites on top. It didn't come with that. So I will try it for you guys here on the camera. Halo Top is still great. My personal opinion is uh, cookies and cream is their best flavor, but, but Enlightened is way creamier. So both good, Enlightened creamier, also more calories. Paula is eating some Froyo. And that will wrap up the video. So, if you guys like the video, hit the thumbs up. If you like the spoon, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Look at that bicep. And I will see you in the next video. Oh, yeah. So tan and hard. <laughs>